Hi. In the situation that the case study is, I would suggest that the CEO go back through and set a formal code for what their business casual is because there's nothing wrong with dress dressing casually and more comfortably for work, especially as an architect if you have to go out into the field. I personally would rather be wearing comfortable clothes than go out into the field into an active job site with a 253 piece three piece suit on. So I think that they should just go back through and make a formal code for what their casual attire is, such as specific dress shoes or they need to be wearing dress pants and maybe a polo or a button down shirt. Something in that area would be more appropriate for this company. I think that when people dress nice for work that they are more motivated to get things done than when they dress overly casual. They don't find the motivation to complete their work. A big portion of what it comes down to in this situation is just as Phil Wozner shows in his article, Business Takes Casual att Attitude Toward Attire, that the, the level of casual availability of attire is based on what the business wants to convey to their clients and what type of business it is. So if it's a business like a bank or something that's professionally interacting with clients all day that really needs to gain people's trust, I think that a very professional and very formal attire is necessary. However, as architects, I don't feel that that is as necessary because they're mostly going to be sitting at their computers working most of the day. And so it's important that they're comfortable while they work. Otherwise, they won't be able to do their work as well. So overall, I would say that the company needs to create a code for their formal wear and to implement it and enforce it throughout their employees. It'll be rough at first because they will fight back. They won't like it, but I think that it will show a positive increase in productivity for the company overall.